Oh, well, welcome back to more Seven Days to Die Starvation mod. And today we are going to be continuing working on the new base, trying to get some things set up. I'll show you some of the updates that we've done, and yeah, so we'll go. We'll take it from there. <laughs> All right, let's go. So yeah, welcome back everybody. Hope you had a fantastic first part of, first part of your week. Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying it so far. So I wanted to show you what we've been working on. As you can see, we've got a little room dug out down here. Um, basically, what this is, is where you see this little column of uh, wood frames. We'll meet up with an area that, I, well hopefully, we'll meet up with an area that I've marked out on the surface over in the new base area and what we're going to do is we're going to actually turn this into our forge room uh, so we're going to put a series of forges on this wall I'm going to get like probably four maybe five of them going so that we'll be able to mass produce materials uh, we may even get more than that in, out of it all and then what we'll do is we'll put storage above it so we'll actually have the uh, the, the top here will be material storage for all the forges and then I'm thinking we may put in a small kitchen or something down here just you know a couple of campfires for making water and then what we'll do is we'll eventually have a cook station upstairs but uh yeah so I'm gonna probably be working on the tunnel on the way down where that ladder is gonna meet up off camera a little bit uh, mainly because it's just going to be me in a hole like this one digging straight down and then the idea is that um, it basically it comes into the network that we've got down here for mining uh, so that if we need to get more materials for some reason we'll be able to basically just come over here and you know mine them out drop them off and we'll see if we can get somebody to do some refining for us but so wait for three more of these one more there you go how much can we make of this Let's see if we can get 40 more of these queued up there we go and actually so we need to make six more of these so we're gonna hang out here for a second while we're waiting for that we need to be since we need to be able to make six more uh, let's see here did I put pine cones yeah okay so I went out I gathered a bunch of wood um, as you can see even after making all of the, the cement that we've got we still have you know 3,000 stone another 700 sand but I was able to go out and pick up about a stack and a half of wood um, been pretty much busy through the night we've been really lucky with the the zombies basically I wait for them to spawn somewhere there we go and that'll get that'll take care of most of that uh, but yeah basically wait for them to spawn oh, crap there. and uh, then kill kill the, a couple of them if they get too close and basically lead the rest of them away and uh, so we are what up to oh we're nine kills shy of a thousand on this character nice so let's go show you what we've got going on over here other than you know having a zombie look like he is trying to beat on our wall over here so basically what I did is once we got around three o'clock in the morning in game uh, I basically came out got all of this upgraded here um, so we've actually got all four walls now should be and some of the sloped on the front wall are now upgraded as well so as you can see you know we're good to go on the, as far as that's concerned so we need what, eight more zombie kills I'm kind of tempted to take a break to go kill some zombies but I need to get this stuff done so that it'll be ready in time for us to uh, start working on some of the other features. 
Now, what I was saying before is that now that all of this is upgraded, um, we'll be able to start upgrading all of these as well. Um, and upgrading the stuff down here on the floor. And I'm thinking I may actually start upgrading that sooner rather than later. But I do want to get at least the first level of the uh, the ramps here done. Because like I said, if we get in a situation where we're over here and we need to defend the base, well, we're pretty screwed to begin with. But I would like to have, you know, these things upgraded so that they're reinforced concrete so that they will at least take a little bit of a beating. But, yeah, okay. Really don't need more of you over here harassing me at this particular time. Okay, so we have enough for six more. So we're gonna go ahead and get these going. Yeah. ha. And then eventually what we are gonna do, I think I'm gonna put another, do I have any of the regular ones on me? No, I don't. That's okay, I don't have any lumber with me anyway. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come back with a few more of the regular rebar frames that we'll put here in the corners. Let's show you what this is going to look like here. So this is basically what we're going to have. And then if we put a block here, it will help support all of the stuff in case something breaks. But, you know, it's fun because of the fact that we're playing with the way that the collision works. So we end up getting these little floating blocks. It makes it a, a very nice defense piece. Right. So this is going to be where we're going to start digging down. Where? I hear zombies. Oh, that's a zombie horde. Oh no, it's just one zombie. Unless they spawned inside. Maybe they spawned inside. That was a really loud zombie. I mean, that was like crazy. Are there more zombies inside or something? Uh, see, we do have a couple. It's always nice when we get useful stuff out of these things. Hey, how you doing? Need four more. <laughs> I figured we're over here, they're spawning zombies, we may as well kill some, right? Okay, so while we've got a while we have a minute, let me show you something here. So I did a little off-camera checking. I went over into one of the saves, into the um, a creative mode save, and brought in the rolling garage door as well as the shutter door. Now the gro the rolling garage door is basically six blocks. Um it basically it takes six blocks and you have to have a solid block on either side so if I wanted to use this on this base what I'd have to do is basically put a block here and well actually it's one two three four five six so yes yeah, so I'd have to have a block here and a block here um, out and out from the face of the wall and then the garage door would sit in between those. Um, now that door only has 3000 hit points. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to end up using the shutter door because it's smaller. It's, it's only four blocks, which is, you know, the space here. And what we'll do is we'll put that on the inside of the, uh, the door here, because what it does is it roll, it slides up, kind of rolls up on the top of it. Um, but it has 8,000 hit points. So that one's going to be, you know, it's, I think that's going to be a little bit better. They're the same hardness because they're, they're both steel. Hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. So they're, they're both, they're both the, every, all of the stats are basically the same except for the forge weight and the hit points. The, the rolling garage door has a basically a hundred more, forge weight than the shutter door 
but both of them, you know, I'm not really that worried about it. The fact that it has 8,000 hit points is better for me. So, so what we'll do is we'll have the roll-up door here, and then on this side we're going to put in the, uh, yeah, what's it called? The drawbridge. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, I've been, uh, been awake a little long. All right. So let's go ahead. I am tempted. You know what? You're just kind of standing there taunting me. We're going to come kill a zombie. Because we're almost at a thousand kills on this character. And now we're one closer. Oh, look at you. Are you going to be my 1,000? You're going to be my 1,000th lucky shopper. <laughs> Look at that. We even got confetti celebration. But... There we go. I think that I still think that that last one, the other one was supposed to be 1,000, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Anyway, <laughs> we've got the 1,000 kills on the character now, right? Oh... Oh, we got a zombie a little horde spawn right there. I'm wondering if it's just because we haven't suppressed the area. Like, we haven't suppressed this area yet, so... But that's okay. It's free XP, it's all good. You know, we've been doing a lot of building and everything, so... Doesn't hurt to do a little bit of zombie killing time from time to time. There's a nurse over there. Now I did find something funny is that if you um, come through and search those cars, if you come back through and search again, you will sometimes trigger the car alarm even though the car has already been searched. How you doing? Thought I heard a spider. Not a spider zombie, the actual spider. Got a little got a little concerned there. Okay. Go ahead and take these things apart. Basically, what I'm doing now is just, I'm just really looking for parts, and this gave me a reason to come out and beat things up and maybe gather some supplies. I should have brought my uh, taming supplies with me. If I had known there was going to be a cow over here. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go ahead and take this apart. It'd be nice to get a couple of motors out of here. Uh, maybe, you know, some batteries or something. Electrical parts, small engine, mechanical parts. Uh, you go away. You go away. You go away. Where the, I uh, know it picked up stuff that I did not want it to pick up. Large bone, oil, oil. Oh crap, there's stuff over here. Headlight, oil. Uh, that means I probably dropped some supplies. And what's awesome is you guys are probably sitting there yelling at me. <laughs> Being like, oh, don't do it. Alright. Uh, I don't need that. Don't really, uh, you know what, I can scrap those. Uh, anything else? Get rid of glass pane. All right, come over here and just pick up this stuff. So we're still waiting for more of the uh, the cement to be made. So yeah, I have to say I'm really enjoying this build. This uh, turned into a pretty good, pretty good build area so far. I hear zombies. 
Uh, go ahead and take this thing apart. See if we're dropping anything. Doesn't look like it. Did we drop anything? No. Okay. So, basically what I'll do is after we hit each of the progression layers on this, I'll stop and check to see if we're dropping anything. Oh, awesome. Ah. This helps. I, need a, I needed a bunch of things like the mechanical parts and miscellaneous materials for the, uh, the roll-up doors. So... Hey, how you doing? Thank you for being my friend. Okay. Let's check all the trash. What do you got? Anything good? No, not really. Oh, that's not good. I hear spider. Why do I hear spider? You can settle down. Or a spider. We need to keep our eyes open for it just in case. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Tell you, I know I'm I'm overly paranoid when it comes to the spiders in this game. So let's go ahead and we're going to start heading back. Keep our eyes open for the wildlife. Nice thing is, is that over here you're going to only get rid of the... You'll get like... Oh, I don't have any room in my inventory. You're lucky. We'll have to come back for you later. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, uh, generally speaking, the only thing you have to really worry about over here are sometimes the scorpions, but it's usually the, uh, the spiders and snakes are the two big ones that you have to worry about over here, so. And I think we got rid of all of the snakes in the area, so it's mostly just worrying about the spiders now. But they do respawn, so. Look at that. That's actually nice. Gives us more stuff to play with. Okay. At some point, I will come back and fix those spikes. And you are still not ready to harvest, right? Oh, you're almost. Let's, uh, let's close this off really quick. Go up here. Let's go drop this stuff off. Get something to eat. Ha ha. we got. Let's go ahead and eat that. Now I'm going to eat one of those. Eat one of those. And that should be good. Now all of our drinks are still upstairs, unfortunately. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of our inventory. Uh, mechanical parts. Electrical parts. Electrical components. And I think that is all the stuff from over there. You are green alcohol, so you are not a spoiler. You are that. And throw these in here for now. Get some of this stuff out of our, just trying to get the the big uh, the big stuff out of my inventory, you know. Alright, so 
And all right, so you guys are all over here. You go here. We're gonna drop you in there. I think we had some other ones in there too. So um, in the night when I was out working, one of the things I did is I went and looted out the uh, the gun safe next door and ended up picking up a bunch of stuff. I haven't decided if I want to try using this thing yet. Hmm. All right, so we do have some bolts. Where where did our crossbow bolts go? There we go. Iron crossbow bolts. Ooh, nice model. That's a very nice model. I like that. Yeah. So for the, uh, for the folks that are noticing that the stats going up, uh, basically the fish helps if I get into the status. All right. So the fish basically uh, increases your immunity, but it also gives you good food, which helps you uh, increase your health over time, as well as your fullness and stamina. Wow, that's really close. Okay. We're going to have to go for it. Uh, I'm going to have to come out and replace a bunch of these spikes. See, I thought I heard zombies when we were out working. So we did get hit. Alright. There's actually uh, quite a few zombie corpses over here. What was that that I picked up? Medical scissors, that must have been a nurse. Okay. So let's go take care of things. Hmm. You know what? I should have grabbed uh, the mini wake. <laughs> oh well. It's fine. Oh, that's a, a bull. We don't want to fight those things. I, I really don't like fighting the new creatures. They're they're kind of OP, so. Oh, did you just land in the water? You look like you are trying to land in the water. We'll find out. Okay, sparking wires, automatic pain book. Nice. Okay, that was actually um, not too bad. Gave us a bunch of books that we already knew, but gave us some more supplies as well, and that's actually a good thing. So, let's go ahead and head back to base see if we've got more of the concrete done and what I will probably do oh, that's a wolf that's not good a bunch of them out here all right so uh, yeah like I was saying what we'll do is we'll head back to the base we'll make up see if the concrete's done if it is we'll keep working on the new base but I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and call this one here and I'll just do the rest of the uh, the base updates off camera um, because the next day or two in game is going to be basically me just getting that base ready to go and what we will try and let me see actually let me see if we've got the parts if we have the parts to make the roll-up door we'll go ahead and make that if not then uh, yeah we'll I'll just finish it off ba off camera oh see at some point I'll get around to scripting these things <laughs> So we know we have a couple of spikes over here that will need to be replaced. We still need to replace a good sec. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. So we apparently... Where did... What? Really? Uh, They're just destroying the house, aren't they? So this is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm wanting to get that other base done, is so that we can get it. Uh, so we're not defending this one during the big hordes. And I'm kind of curious to see how the other base, that new base design will work in a big horde because, you know, like I said, uh, Spore and I were building, were building those in the True Survival mod. 
and I was kind of curious to see how they work in this mod because this mod is a little bit more uh, let's say brutal shall we it's, it's pretty bad I go let's grab that we're gonna drop this stuff off okay so let's see what, what do we need to make this door We need springs and sheaves, which I believe we have. We have those, we have those. Pipes, duct tape, and iron. So grab this, grab this, and grab this. And I think that is what we need. That is what we need. So let's go ahead and craft this thing. Oh, because once we put this up, it'll will actually be mainly basically secure over in over in the new base. So let's go ahead and drop off this stuff while we're waiting. Hello, puppy. Once again, wanting to be internet famous. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so drop the rest of those medical scissors there. How much time we have on that thing? being crafted eh, about a minute not too bad and we got some stuff to drop off over here I'm gonna have to start making uh, crossbow bolt heads now or the iron arrowheads right. drop this stuff off a little bit more a little bit more and 30 seconds we're going to make eh, just go ahead and make it it's gonna be five minutes worth of time. Let's grab. So we're gonna cut this down to yeah, about that. That yeah, should be good. There you go. And do we have more raw iron? No, we don't. Come. So I've been basically trying to get my iron stockpiles up a bit. As you can see, we're up over 5k um, because we're going to go through a crap ton of it. Once we get everything on the new base, once we get the the starting stuff done and we start getting the actual, um, you know, let's just do it this way. And we start getting the, like the survivors and stuff over there. Uh, what we're going to end up with is uh, <laughs> basically needing a ridiculous amount of iron. So how are we doing for we've got good food, we're good for water. Uh sand, that was the other thing I needed. There we go. So we're gonna do that. And then how much do we have over here? We'll wait for 70 on this. It's just gonna be a couple of seconds, so it won't be too bad. There we go. So, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, almost forgot. So I'm going to place this. There we go. <laughs> so let's go place this over at the new base. We'll wait for the rest of the cement to finish. And then, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll finish upgrading these blocks off camera. Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot. One of the things that I ended up doing, I don't know, sometime off camera, was <laughs> taking out this that lump of rock that was here so we can actually see when things are coming in at us now. And I'm going to go ahead and do this really quick. That's all of the cement, right? No. So we're going to drop you over here. And now the one thing I'm not too thrilled about is that this thing takes up a fairly good chunk of space All right. and see it does it sits kind of weird there we go so we're gonna put you right there, I hope. Uh, 
Really? You're not gonna let me? Are you really not gonna let me do this? It'd be awesome if it let me do that. Okay, so this thing is four blocks, right? Why are you not letting me place that there? Is it? All right. Hmm. Because it let me. It would let me place them on the front before. Oh, you know what? It might be that I need to have. I might need to have. So it's four wide, right? So we're going to go here, 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 and here. And I think it needs to be. They need to be upgraded. Well, crap. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead see if we can get things in here get them done um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it though so I want to thank you all for stopping in today if you enjoyed it make sure you hit those like buttons if you want to see more subscribe if you have any questions or comments feel free to throw them down in the section below the video I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner uh, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing hopefully get this thing updated and done Let's so I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic week. We'll see you back here next time for more 7 Days to Die Starvation. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. <laughs> oh, this mod is driving me up the wall sometimes. <laughs>